Hi everyone, in this video we're going to convert the point 200 to spherical coordinates. So this point here is in rectangular coordinates. So to do this, we are going to use some formulas. So let's go ahead and recall those formulas. So first of all, this is uh, x, this is y, and this is z. So the formulas that we use to go from rectangular to spherical are the following. So rho squared is equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared. We use this formula uh, to find rho. We know that the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. And the last formula is that phi is equal to the arc cosine, arc cosine of z over the square root of this. So the hardest thing about working with spherical coordinates is just knowing these formulas, right? That's the worst part. Uh, once you know these formulas, um, it's pretty easy. So the goal, the goal in this problem is to write the rectangular coordinates in spherical coordinates. So we want that we want to write that as rho theta phi. Okay, so our final answer should be rho theta phi. All right, let's go ahead and find rho first. So rho squared is equal to, well, x is 2, so that's 2 squared. y and z are both 0, so that's 0 squared plus 0 squared. End up with rho squared equals 4. To get rid of the 2, uh, we simply take the square root of both sides. We end up with rho equals plus or minus 2. So rho is a distance, so it's just 2. So our rho is equal to 2. All right, let's find theta. So to find theta, we'll use this one. So the tangent of theta is equal to um, y over x, right? So y is 0, so it's going to be 0 over 2. So that's just 0. So we're looking for an angle theta uh, such that the tangent of theta is equal to 0. So 0, theta is equal to 0. Tangent of 0 is 0. Piece of cake, right? Very simple. And to find phi, we use this other scary-looking formula. So let's do that. So we have phi equals arc, arc cosine of z. So z is 0 over um, all of this stuff here. So this is, this is just um, rho, but I'll write it out. It's, it's 2 squared right? plus 0 squared plus 0 squared. This whole thing is 0. This is the arc cosine of 0. So phi is the arc cosine of 0. So we ask ourselves, um, well, what does this mean? This means, let me scroll down and explain this. So phi is the arc cosine of 0. That means that the cosine of phi is equal to 0. That means that phi is pi over 2, right? The cosine of pi over 2 is equal to 0. So the arc cosine takes 0 and sends it to phi. The inverse function is cosine, so it undoes that. It takes phi and sends it back to 0. So we get phi equals pi over 2. So we have our answers here. You can see them on the screen. That's great. So the final answer is rho theta phi. So it'll be um, 2 uh, 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 theta is 0, and then phi is pi over 2. So 2, 0, pi over 2. So those are our spherical uh, coordinates. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.